Hey guys, welcome to XPS Tech. My name is Vineet and today I'll show you how to open a tar file or a file with .tr extension in Linux. Now .tr extension files are called tape archive files. Now, these are packaged files for installing a program in Linux system similar to setup.exe files that you have in Windows environment. Now tape archive files may also have extensions such as .tar, .gz or .tgz. These are files that are packaged during tar using tar and then compressed using gunzip program. Sometimes you may also see .tar, .bz or .bz2 files. These are files that are compressed using bzip program. All right. So today we'll. I'll walk you through the process of opening up these files and installing it onto your computer. So as you can see on the system, this is a Ubuntu desktop and I have two files, two tar files, AMAP and UNMAP. So we are going to install AMAP onto our system. So the first thing is open up the terminal and go to the directory. So it is the desktop directory and as you can see here I have my AMAP file. Now the first command is to unpack the tar file is type in tar tape archive and give a space then x for extract v for verbose it gives feedback when what's happening in the background when you run this command f for file name and then z for compressed file and then give the file dot tar dot gz now in case of you have only .tr file, you don't need to give this z, all you need to do is xvf and then file.tar, alright. So as you can see first of all I do not have an AMAP installed on my computer. This is what we are going to do now, we need to type in the command tar.xvf and z since it's tar.gz file and then give the file link AMAP and press enter. Now, it, as you can see it has created a desktop, it has unpacked the star file and created a desktop. So let's go through this desktop uh, folder. Okay. Now here you can see I have a configure script. Now the next command is for installing the program is type in dot slash configure and run this. So I'm going to type in dot slash configure on our bash and press enter. So what it does is it checks your environment and creates a set of options necessary to get the tool compiled on your device. So it is checking the options that you have on your computer and make the necessary adjustments. Alright, now it's done. The next command that you need to type in is the command make. And what this will do is it will compile and build the tool for your device. So I'll type in make and press enter. This will take some time. It is done and the last command is you need to type in make install. Now what this will do is it will load the program into its appropriate place but you need to have the root permission for this so you need to type in sudo and then make install and press enter. Ask for your root password, type in the password and press enter. Alright, so now I think we have the AMAP installed on my computer. Let's just check it. AMAP and press enter. And there you have it. We have successfully installed a program AMAP from the DAR file. So just double check, type in AMAP, and this is the AMAP tool. Alright, so thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this video is useful to you. Now, do remember to click the thumbs up button if you like this video and thank you very much. I'll see you next time.